My name is Rafael Gonzalez. I am from a mixed heritage. I'm Dakota and Puerto Rican. I'm from Minneapolis, Minnesota, and I am a water protector and hip hop artist. Um, the the movement um, at Standing Rock and at the No Dapple Resistance Camp, um, the the first official camp started in April, and it was on um, Ladonna Allard's land, um, and that was the Sacred Stone Camp. Um, and that was that was when the camps first started, um, but eventually it spilled over onto the 1851 Treaty Land side north of the Cannonball River and north of the Standing Rock Sioux Tribe Reservation, and that was known as the Ocheti Shakoan Camp. That was the main um, big camp. The spotlight, I mean, as far as the spotlight goes and, and the, the media attention, um, it wasn't until August, I would say, when, when really the media really started to pay attention to what was going on. Um, and that was because four indigenous women um, put themselves on the front line. They stood um, in front of construction equipment and shut the construction site down. Um, but even before, uh, even before that, um, Standing Rock was um, already um, fighting the pipeline um, and never consented um, to the pipeline months before. Um, I wasn't there during that process, but um, you know they didn't. They didn't consent to. They never consented to um, the building of this pipeline. Um, and I think it probably grew, um, you know, it was growing exponentially. And I would say in October, when the police violence really started to um, accelerate, I feel like that's when like the, the, the whole world really began to watch. Okay. So as far as like Trump and his, um, you know, in the in the whole Paris Agreement, um, I'm not surprised, and this is kind of something that we were anticipating, anyway, because Trump is uh, he he's not even a believer in climate change, so we're not surprised, and you know, anything that he does or he touches, you can pretty much expect the worst of. Um, for us, it it's just I feel like. He's, um, in a way, he's strengthening our fight because he is making it very obvious um, his moves, um, his uh, decisions that he's making um, with his with his policy and his fascism. Um, we've been experiencing the same the same oppression for 500 years as indigenous people. Um, so Trump. Um, being in office for us is only a continuation of the same thing that's been going on, but he is uh, reaching many other communities, um, especially in the in the fight for the fight against climate change. Um, so him, you know, uh, him removing the United States from from the Paris Climate Agreement is, you know, it's it's expected, but I think that's going to give more fuel to our, our flame and, and um, that's going to help us uh, uh, get more motivated to mobilize and do something um, about his, his, uh, his policy. Mm -hmm. okay. Bye. okay. So I mean today's a good day, you know, the, the federal courts, um, you know, they just announced that, uh, you know, they're their um, ruling against, you know, Dapple and, and Trump, um, they uh, basically expressed that um, Trump pushed this pipeline through and made an executive order to push the pipeline through, and by doing so, um, you know, violated a lot of uh, laws. It's not just one law, but it's many different laws um, that were broken in, in this process of creating the 
Dakota Access Pipeline. One of them was um, breaking the treaty. Um, that's a direct violation of the United States Constitution. Um, and then there's also the environment. Um, there's the environmental, um, the environmental, uh, the nat, excuse me, the National Environmental Policy Act, and that was also violated um, by um, making this pipeline complete. Um, the completion of this pipeline is is a, you know a violation on, on, on a few different levels and um, Standing Rock and the Cheyenne River um, tribe they tribes they um, you know they filed uh, they, they filed the lawsuit and you know this is really good news for us but it we're not I'm not calling it a victory right now it may be a small victory but I wouldn't call this a victory the only because we've been lied to, you know, we've been lied to by our, our, our government so many times. This, for me, is a step in the right direction, but um, we as indigenous people are not going to be satisfied until there is an official statement saying that the pipeline is completely canceled. Um, what I would say to the people in Italy and the people of Europe in general is, um, um, I'm really happy to see uh, so many people that are mobilizing. I would say, um, uh, hopefully, um, the No Dapple movement is a is an inspiration to uh, to the people here in Europe, um, and I, I think it's uh, I think it's good to share our struggles and our stories. I'm happy to go back home and share many of the European struggles with the with the people at home because for me these stories um, are motivation for us to continue on with our fight um, it gives us hope um, so um, I'm happy and, and motivated from this tour um, and also uh, I hope that when I leave um, I can also bring the same type of uh, uh, motivation or, or encouragement and um, and um, inspiration to the people of Europe to continue on with their fight. I've had many people ask me what they can do, and and you know I, I I've been working my hardest to, to answer those questions. But I think it, it really comes down to the the people here. I, I don't I don't live in Europe, but um, so I don't know the dynamic as well. But I know that um, we all depend on water and. Um, you know, it's we should all look at it as something sacred to us. Um, our bodies are 80% water, so to see people out here mobilizing um, and, and taking action is 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 wonderful. And I think through um, um, these visits and, and, and coming to see the people and the movements in person uh, is really important for us to continue on to strengthen and build our relationships. Um, so uh, I, I really hope to to see that um, continue. As I come back and I'm wishing nothing but prayers and blessings to the, the, the people in Europe um, to continue on with our fight to uh, fight against climate change and um, we're, we're watching you know I'm gonna bring more information that I learned back home um, I want to bring that back home and share that and write about it and and share it with with the different people that are fighting similar struggles back home and um, yeah, let's let's continue to stay connected um, through through technology and through the internet, and um, let's let's continue on with this movement.